hey guys welcome back to the channel so i was just on my youtube because i just posted i just posted it last night so it probably will be a couple of days till people see it but um i had four um like poll ideas of things that i'm gonna do and, like tame muha i was coming out regardless i think my package is coming on thursday i believe around third well from it says thursday to like i think friday or saturday i don't remember so the 17th which is no monday um, and then I have another team of packages, and then I have a third one. The third one, though, I'm going to save because the third one specifically, I'm going to an event next month. So, um, that content will come when I think. So, I was looking for, oh, something's behind me. Um, but yeah, so I'm on spring break. I'm going to try to get a weekly vlog for you guys. Um, today I am going out solo, like, solo date type of vibe. Um, because I need to get out the house, like, I'm trying, like, and the, the old me would just stay home and do nothing in the past, but I'm really trying to, I feel like as I got older, I'm trying to go outside, breathe fresh air, because being in your house all day is not good, you're just in the house and breathing nothing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so just, I just want to go outside, breathe some fresh air, um, so I'm going to Pier 57, which is, like, if you've ever been to Manhattan and been to Chelsea Piers, I've been to Chelsea Piers a few times when I was younger, and then I went, I think, last year, to um the little island thing so i think this pier is like close to little island because when i see like other people showing it they're showing like from the pier 57 they can see the little, little island on the other side but anyway so my goal is to leave by like 12 12 30 ish because i just ate breakfast literally like an hour ago i did go to the gym i didn't bring my apple watch and i also never bring my camera into the gym i don't like i can't do that unless somebody's coming with me to the gym that they can hold my camera and i know it's secure um but anyway so really quickly so on the agenda though before i leave i want to get the video that i want to post to drop tomorrow uploaded so i'm pretty much doing the last finishing finishing touches for that and i also want to do my to read my bible and do my uh and use my bible study journal um before i leave um, normally sometimes I'll do that at night, but because I'm home, like, I try to see if I can do it in the morning. It just depends. Sometimes I, I'm gonna be honest, like, like I say this all the time, it's, everything's accountability. Just like me getting back from the gym after being in a long hiatus. Um, yeah, it's a lot. But I looked so good last year that I want to get back to, to how I looked. Like, I really liked myself at that weight. But again, everything is with consistency. Consistency, consistency. Like, that's all I can say. The same thing with putting my time and effort to reading the Bible and praying and all that stuff, my relationship got everything is a consistency thing. If you're not consistent, it's not gonna happen. That that's just what it is. But um this is the journal. I think I've shared this a lot of times. I got this from Amazon. So it's like a Bible study journal. Pretty much you write the scripture, reflection and prayer. So I like to read the Bible and then kind of do a reflection and that's it. I'm gonna do that. Um get this video up. And then, I haven't picked my clothes, but I have an idea. I don't know what top I'm going to wear, but I have an idea for the jeans. It is hot, so I'm not, like, I'm not going to do what I did this morning. I had a long sleeve shirt on when I went to the gym, and I had, like, not a long sleeve. Well, it was, like, a long jacket, but I had it open, and I was hot. So, I'm not doing that when I go outside. I'm going to wear jeans, though, and I'm, I'm going to probably wear, like, a top like this. Like, a short sleeve top, and then I think I'm just going to wear my, uh, I have, like, this black, I can't think right now jacket um but other than that i'll talk to you guys probably when excuse me when i get to the period 57 because i want to get this done and i don't want to talk 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 so talk to you guys and then not get this done because i have to do my thumbnail and i have to do my tags and everything else that these youtubers like us have to do this is period 57 this is market 57 downstairs i got food at some place now food is costly but i expect that in manhattan now i was walking the stairs there's a lot of stairs but they do have an elevator accessible if you cannot walk obviously um and i didn't do a lot of filming i was trying to just enjoy it i will say bring something to do because i didn't and i was kind of bored so yeah hey guys so i wanted to kind of like add other pieces to this vlog because the reality is um, I'm not going out every day. I'm trying to do more free things because today I spent a little money But one being because I feel like I've been spending a lot of money not for bad purposes I mean for fun things. I definitely believe it's good to spend your money here and there for things to, for enjoyment um, But I also because of that I've spent so much money on things for enjoyment that's coming up in the coming months I kind of want to slow down on spending too, too much in the city when I don't need to, if that makes sense. I wanted to 
incorporate really quickly a skincare routine so let's get into it so for first things first is the sunnest fill now as you guys can see the two the still i haven't even tried it i ended up getting this because I felt like the one that I per recently purchased from Marshall, I just switched to it like a day ago, is very like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like I can't use it as a like daily and night use. I can only use it once a day. It's like the, I feel like the, the ingredients in it is kind of like strong. Um, so I've used this bottle today, the set of fill. Um, I just wanted a, a generalized one. I wasn't looking for anything like particular so i was like i'll just go with the set of fill because i've heard good things i've heard good things about cerave and set of fill i think i tried cerave survey i don't even know how you say that i don't remember if i tried set of fill but i mean though uh clarify uh foam and cleanser i've tried i want to give you guys a quick asmr i know i like to listen to it so i hope you guys enjoy it but i want to have with the set of fill and i will come back and tell you guys this but um as you continue on the video, my skin broke out like crazy with this. Oh, there's my braided bonnet. I'll link it. I mean, my shower cap. Best thing ever for braids. Anyway, now I'm going to organize my bras. Now I got this bra organizer from Amazon. Best thing ever in life. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was so annoying. Didn't have space for my bras because, like, I have drawers set up on my bed, but they are for, like, my socks and, like, my underwear and stuff like that so i never really had like space enough for my bra i used to put them in the drawer but it just it was just too bulky and everything was overflowing so i don't know why for years it never occurred to me to buy a bra organizer until like a few weeks ago anyway i finally spent money on buying it it was 19 dollars, but i feel like it was worth it because you get a lot of compartments and there are bigger sizes if you have more bras but this was good enough for me i think i got the 20 by 20 which um so you have a total i think of 40 or something different size now as you guys can see it's double sided one side is just open like a regular like pouch and then the other side has like individual like pockets that you can put stuff in so if, like i kind of just kind of organized it by like sports bras mainly in the back and then i have like regular bras in the front of it but like this is the best thing ever in life now all my um bras are organized and not all over the place and it's just like the back of my door looks so much neat and i really love it i highly recommend it if you're looking for something to just organize and even organize undergarments as well too it's, i think it's a great thing anyway so now i'm decluttering some hair products and i'll be talking about that in few so i'm not gonna talk too much first um I'm very, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very annoyed. Um, and this is why you stick to products that work for your face. So I currently have a skin irritation. I'm not even gonna get up close because whatever. But I mean, I guess. Here's the Ronabril Abigail. You guys see all the dots. So my whole skin is like this now. I put pimple patches on my face because I also have pimples going on in my face. I have like day and night um, ones from that I purchased from Amazon. So yeah so now it's like i have to redo my skin all over again and i'm very annoyed like this is why i don't try any things so i don't know if it's the subtle fill cleanser that i showed you guys two days ago or it probably is the witch hazel or both of them but they no so and i'm kind of annoyed because i spent 16 dollars on that set of fill that's why i got changed to set of fill but i don't know like people were saying good things about set of fill but i think it's also something that's causing it as well so i didn't use set of fill to um, this morning I used like I had this turmeric, turmeric like acne face wash, but honestly I think I'm gonna be forced to go into what do you call it Rite Aid and go get Neutrogena because that's the brand that I have had been using for I want to say the past year and a half. The one that I've been using before I decided to swap was a Neutrogena one and that did nothing to my face. Neutrogena for the most part has not done. The only thing I didn't like they had this other like gel. Um, cleanser that one didn't do well with my skin but the other one from the Hydra Boost line that always does well so I may just have to suck it up and buy another cleanser the set of fill though I think my sister said it works good for her face so I might just give it to her so at least that one doesn't get wasted but the other one that I got from Marshall's like I'm not even going to use it because I know I've been here like witch hazel I've been using witch hazel it hasn't bothered my skin but I guess the amount of witch hazel you use that also with that 
I got like this witch hazel plus something else swimming cleanser and I think that also messed up my skin so I'm very much annoyed right now you guys don't really see me much annoyed I don't show like I'm not saying I always show the happy side of me but like I am annoyed about it because it's like when your face is decent looking versus when it gets irritated like all my skin is just pimp, like just irritated inflammation redness it's really annoying and so honestly and truly I, w I woke up this morning I didn't even want to go outside that's really bad I mean I'm still contemplating if I want to cut this short for tomorrow or extend it into Sunday because it really depends on when my team will products come if they come by today or tomorrow then I'll just shoot the Tamu content because that's easier I feel like and quicker to edit and update for you guys um I mean edit and yeah upload for you not guys not update but upload for you guys I'm like off and on with my natural hair as far as doing it on a daily I'm normally in protective spa mode these days so there's some products that I, of course I'm going to keep because when I do do my hair I will use them but there's some products that I have not touched they're like I've used them, but they're not like up there as far as that I love them. So, so far in 2019. So, honestly, I'm not sure if it's good or bad. Like, it's halfway through. I was almost actually done with it. This was when I was a Shea Bassetter before they cut the program. And, yeah. So, this is the Coconut Custard Make It Last Wash and Go Curl Revival Oil. So, I was going to give this thing. This, I think, is going to... There's some stuff that I think I'm just throwing out completely. I'm not even going to give it to anybody. And this Shea Moisture... Um... You know, like, when you look at a product and it's starting to get, like, that clumpy feeling, I feel like that's when it needs to go. So, unfortunately, I made it halfway through this, but I just feel like I shouldn't give this to anybody. It just looks like it needs to go. Um, but this is actually a good line. I do like this line, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil from Shea Moisture. This was, like, the leave-in conditioner. It's good, but I just didn't use it as, as often. This gel souffle, I don't really, I'm not for it. It's so thick. I feel like it does nothing. I actually never used this. I don't remember. I think I got this 2021, I want to say. We're in 2023. Uh, I forgot how to read this expiration date. I have an app. I don't know if it offloaded off my phone. I'm going to see if I can find it. But I think Palmer's, I got, I think I have two lines actually from the Palmer's. One I like and one I didn't really love the, um, I did a review on it. I don't remember what I said at first. It's not like I have a hate relationship with it, but it's not my fave. The... The cocoa butter formula. So I like the cocoa, co cocoa butter formula, the lotion, but for hair care, is not my top. So this is the oil. I barely use this oil. So it's brand new. I can't remember what year. I think I got this in 2021, I want to say. I don't remember. I know it was the year that I went to, uh, what do you call this place? To Kalahari. And that wasn't last year. That was the year before. So I think I got this 2021. But I think it's still good. Like, it looks pretty good. I have so many oils that I'm not using, so I'm like, I might as well just give it away to somebody to use it. If you look at it, it is time to go. Like, it's all, like, this is why we need to clean our products ever so often, because this, you can see the consistency. Look at that. It got all, like, messed up. So, that's on the garbage pile, for sure. Uh, this was a leftover of this Eden Body Leave-In Conditioner. I don't know why I put it in here, but... Yeah, this we're just going to throw out. I put it in another, like, um, thing. Garbage. This, um, do I even have enough? I'm just going to, actually, no, this is going to go my empties. Certain things I'm going to put in my empties if they're pretty much done. This is the Dr. Miracles pre-shampoo treatment. But I feel like it's not enough for, oh, maybe it is. I don't know. But it's starting to, like, get white things in it. So I'm not going to use it on my hair when I take it out, probably. And normally I don't use a pre-shampoo treatment when I take my hair at first. Because I feel like my hair is already dirty. I just wash my hair like that. I never go in with a pre-shampoo. But this, I think I'm just going to put in my prody, 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 product empties. Um, because it's pretty much done. This as well, I think I'm going to put in my prody, prody, product empties. Uh, this I have a little bit of, actually. So I could still use it. I just don't know for what, like, if I want to quick. is the Anti-Breakage Growth Butter by East of Eden Naturals. This product I really liked. I have a video on it, so I'll link it. I'm just going to put these in my thing for now, but I will go through it again. Um, this, I think, had a leftover or something else, but I think it was an Eden Body product, Eden Body Works product. I'm just going to throw it out. Uh, let's see. What else I got? 
I'm actually looking like stylers and stuff, like how many styles I have left, and it's not many. The other products I left in there already, this just looks really t messed up and just nasty. I'm not going to give this away. I'm just going to throw it away. I just never, I think, got to finishing it, and then after a while, just created this clumpy mess. But that's the Eden Natural Curl Cream Conditioner. This one I'm not going to give away because it just looks really bad. This also got messed up, and I think also heat kind of messed it up as well, but I mean, I guess oh, over the time not using it, but it didn't mess up the Cream of Nature one. Th well, this one specifically. So I don't know, I guess after a while. But again, I think I've t I have a video on there, I'll link it up, like how to know if your products are getting old, um, and stuff like that. So this is another one. This is the uh, Jamaican Podcast or Hair Credible. As you guys can see, it started getting watery and stuff like that, so that's also garbage. Carol's Daughter, I'm, I'm sorry, but like I tried to like it, but it's not my cup of tea. So the size that I bought thinking like I was going to like the brand and after well, after I did So this I'm keeping, kind of. I'm just going to give this to my sister, I think. Then I have some other oils that I'm probably not going to use. This black castor oil, leftover oil that I had. And I have this cream of nature oil. After a while, I just forget about oils. I try not to use too much oils because you never know what works and what doesn't. These are um, Jehovah and argan oil never touched these either um oh well let's see well they were oh they were produced in 2020 i was gonna say they expired and 12 months well normally the rule too if you haven't opened them they're normally good but it's 2023 and these were produced in 2020 so i think we're just gonna throw it away to be on the safe side because it's been three years well october will be three years but it's been two still so it's been a minute so I'm just going to throw these out. I'm sorry, I just never use them. This was not a bad, bad product, the Curl Elongator. That actually works really well. I'm contemplating if I want to keep it to do my hair. I think I will. I'm just looking at the product to see if it still looks good. It still looks good. Technically, you're supposed to use this within 12 months, but again, the product still looks good. Now, the shampoo conditioner is still in my shower. I have not touched it. Some products I leave in my shower, and this is why like, I need to go and clean out my in my shower my shower um shelves and go through it and like throw out so the curl elongator is still good i'm gonna keep it because i did like the product it's not that i never liked the product but sometimes i go for other products like for example i think i mentioned this um the talia wajid um i've really been loving this this is a long talk i'm gonna stop talking but they're a little pricey but they actually work the curly the curly curl jello, those work. So yeah, I'm gonna end it, stop talking here. I'm just gonna go through the back of my room and see what else I have. But all of these are going into the garbage because they're not good anymore. It's bad to waste products, but let's let's learn to declutter and minimize. And I think out over these years now, I'm just gonna lessen my you know product slash because for one. If I know, and I think I did this too with Influencer, I'm doing, sorry, as I simultaneously do a survey. Um, so every time, every once in a while, they like, okay, we have a survey, these are the products, these are the brands, and you can opt in or opt out for the products. So that's what I was quickly doing. I forgot I was doing that before I turned on the camera. But now, like sometimes when I, most of the times where I see hair products specifically, I just say I don't want them because of the fact of me now having too many products that I'm not using. But... This is a good stash. I'm gonna yeah. This is for randomized cleaning, but at least I get it done now. I was initially watching something, but I was like, I just sat there and I'm like, you know what? Let me get something accomplished. For like every day, I've been doing some type of cleaning thing. Sunday, I think I talked about that. I cleaned like a lot of the back part of my room, um, and then yesterday I showed you guys to use my bra organizer. This has been this is a godsend. I will leave it in the description box, but like now all my bras are so organized and nothing's falling down. So this was a, actually a great investment uh so yeah so i'm gonna go do that but yeah i think it was better like i said to do it now because also garbage is going out and we normally throw out the garbage tonight so like thursday night goes out so i'm like let me just get them all out of the way now